everyone, welcome back to our channel and today we're going to talk about the three classes of rocks. Hope you enjoy it. A rock is a combination of one or more minerals or organic matter. Scientists divide rocks into three classes based on how rocks form. These three classes of rock are igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rocks are divided into intrusive and extrusive rocks. Igneous rock forms when hot liquid magma cools into solid rock. Intrusive igneous rock forms when magma pushes into or intrudes surrounding rock below Earth's surface and cools, which form intrusive igneous rock. Intrusive igneous rock have large visible crystals that can be seen. Some examples are granite and diorite. Extrusive igneous rock forms when lava erupts or extrudes onto the Earth's surface. Lava cools very quickly at Earth's surface. Extrusive igneous rock have very little time for crystal formation, so they have fine green crystals that can only be seen with a microscope. These rocks are most commonly found around volcanoes, such as obsidian. Sedimentary rocks form near the Earth's surface. Some of these processes include weathering, erosion, deposition, and cementation. Based on how they form, scientists classify sedimentary rocks as clastic, chemical, or organic sedimentary rock. Clastic sedimentary rock forms when sediments are buried, compacted, and cemented together by calli or quartz. The size of the sediments or clasts that make up the rock is used to classify clastic sedimentary rocks. Examples include mudstone and sandstone. Chemical sedimentary rocks form when water, usually seawater, evaporates. Most water contains dissolved minerals. As water evaporates, the minerals in the water become concentrated to the point that they precipitate out of the solution and crystallize. Halite or rock salt is an example of chemical sedimentary rock. Organic sedimentary rock forms from the remains of fossils or once living plants and animals. As a rock is exposed to high temperature and pressure, the crystal structures of the mineral of the rock change to form new minerals. This process results to the formation of metamorphic rock, which has either a foliated texture or a non-foliated texture. The metamorphic process in which mineral grains are arranged in planes or bands is called foliation. Foliation occurs when pressure causes the mineral grains in a rock to reline to form parallel bands. Some examples are gneiss, phyllite, and slate. Metamorphic rocks that do not have mineral grains that are aligned in planes or bands are called non-foliated. Non-foliated metamorphic rocks are commonly made of one or only few minerals. Two common non-foliated metamorphic rocks are quartz and marble. 